Edgar Allan Poe by Kathleen Tillema. Poe was born on January 19, 1809, and the second of three kids. He was born into a family of actors, David Jr. and Elizabeth Arnold Poe. David Poe left the family, leaving Elizabeth with the three kids. Elizabeth dies December 8, 1811 from tuberculosis in Richmond, Virginia. Days later, David also passes away from tuberculosis. The siblings were separated after the death of their mother. The oldest, Henry Poe, went to live with his grandparents. Rosaline Poe, the youngest, was adopted by the Mackenzie family of Richmond, all taking in the last names of their adoptive parents. Poe was adopted by wealthy tobacco merchants, John and Francis Allen. In 1815, the Allens moved to England, where Poe got a very good education. At the age of 15, Poe was back in Richmond, where he wrote his first poem. Last night, with many cares and toils, oppressed, weary, I laid me on the couch to rest. He was writing poetry from about the time that he was 13. He kept writing all the time. He worked very, very hard in his writing and wrote constantly. In 1826, Poe enrolled at the University of Virginia. He went into debt, he gambled to try to pay off those debts, and found himself in even greater debt, and ultimately had to withdraw from the university. In 1830, Poe enrolled at West Point. After West Point, Poe turned to writing full-time, and lived in a number of East Coast cities before settling down in Richmond, Virginia. Edgar Allan Poe secretly married his 13-year-old cousin, and then in 1836, publicly married her in a more open ceremony. He loved her very, very much. They lived together always until, alas, she died of tuberculosis when she was, I guess, around 20. Poe's primary occupation as a writer was as a literary critic. He worked at several newspapers and literary magazines, and he had quite a reputation for being a harsh critic. One of his editors called him the Tomahawk Man. During his lifetime, he barely made a living from his writing. Poe published some of his most famous short stories in his 1840 collection, Tales of the Grotesque and Arabesque. He wrote some of his stories using the first person and talking about the use of opium, so people assumed that he dabbled in drugs. The stories were so creepy that they were ghost stories taken to such a brilliant extreme that people thought he had to be a little strange himself. John Allen and Poe never really got along. John found him to be a troublemaker. After gambling, gambling $2,000 of John's money, Elizabeth Allen passed away in 1829, leaving John feeling sorry for Poe. In 1827, at the age of 18, Edgar went and joined the army, later struggling with an alcohol addiction. Poe succeeded in short stories and narrative poems, he knew how to get into the dark corners of the human mind. Being born and dying into poverty and losing his loved ones, Poe knew the dark places too well due to visiting them himself. On September 27th, Poe left Richmond, Virginia, heading for Philadelphia to edit poems for Miss St. Leon Loud. Joseph W. Walker, a composer from the Baltimore Sun, a minor figure in American poetry at the time, found Poe in a delirious disarray and dressed in shabby secondhand clothes lying in the gutter. The man was semi unconscious and unable to move outside of the polling place. It was the first anyone had seen Poe since his departure from Richmond. Walker stopped and asked Poe if he had any acquaintances in Baltimore that might be able to help him. Poe gave Walker the name of Joseph E. Snodgrass, a magazine editor with some medical training. Immediately, Walker contacted Snodgrass. Poe never made it to Philadelphia to attend his editing business, nor did he even make it back to New York where he was living. Poe died on October 7, 1849, at the age of 40. His death is still a mystery. Some famous quotes by Poe. I do not suffer from insanity. I enjoy every minute of it. And all I have loved, I loved alone. It is happiness to wonder. It is happiness to dream. I wish I could write as mysterious as a cat. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make it a note that this thing will be remembered. We loved with a love was more than love. Poe's most favorite genres are the gothic stories, and he mastered in detective fiction, horror, mystery, and science fiction. Poe's most popular works, The Raven, The Telltale Heart, 
the mask of the red death the cask of amontillado the fall of the house of usher and murders in the room morgue thank you for watching